welcome to the Listening Time Podcast. Hey everybody, this is Connor and you're listening to episode 51 of the Listening Time Podcast. I'm super excited for today's episode because we're going to talk about becoming an advanced listener in English. So I know this is a topic that's going to be really helpful for all of you because I assume that all of you want to reach an advanced listening comprehension level. And the reason I decided to record this episode is because I have some other exciting news, which is that I'm starting an advanced podcast. Uh, a lot of people have asked me for this. I've gotten many requests for an advanced level podcast, uh, similar to the normal listening time podcast. And now you've got your wish. Uh, I'm starting an advanced podcast, and this will be for listening time family members. So remember that there are three levels of membership that you can sign up for. There are listening time members for $2 a month, listening time super members for $3 a month, and listening time family members for $4 a month. So if you become a Listening Time family member, you'll have access to this new advanced podcast uh, on the fifth day of every month. Uh, I'm going to release new episodes on the fifth of every month. So for example, April 5th, May 5th, June 5th, etc. So in the episode description below this episode, you'll see the link there. It's patreon.com slash listening time. And you can click on that and become a listening time family member to have access to my advanced podcast episodes. And some people have had trouble finding the links for the episode transcripts. Uh, all of the links are in the description below each episode. So depending on which platform you use to listen to this podcast, it might be labeled uh, something different like episode description or episode notes, but they're below every episode. So you just need to go down and sometimes you might need to click on the little thing that says see more and you'll see all the links uh, below each episode. I put the links to the episode transcripts and the links to the Patreon membership website so you can become a member. So in each advanced episode, I'm going to talk for a shorter amount of time, about 10 to 12 minutes probably. And I'll be speaking at normal speed. So I'm going to try not to slow down much. I want to speak exactly how I would normally speak with other native speakers. And so I'll probably define fewer words. Uh, I won't stop as much to define the new words or phrases that I'm saying. I'll definitely define some of them but the pace will be faster than these normal episodes. So I won't slow down too much. Uh, I won't define as much. I'm just going to talk, talk, talk. And so with these episodes, uh, the transcript will be very useful for you because I'm sure it will be harder for you to understand those episodes. But that's good. This is the way to challenge yourself uh, to actually improve your listening level even more. And you can use repetition to help you understand the whole episode and learn all those new words and become accustomed to all these different sound patterns in English. So remember, this advanced podcast is available for listening time family members on the fifth day of every month. Uh, if you're already a member or super member, you can also change your membership and become a family member to have access to this advanced podcast. Okay, so remember to go down and click on the link in the episode description, patreon.com slash listening time. All right, let's get started. Are your ears ready? You know what time it is. It's listening time. 
Okay, in this episode, I'm going to talk about the three things that you need in order to reach an advanced listening level. Okay, so we're going to go over each of these three things and I'm going to give you some tips and advice on how to actually use these three things and reach an advanced level. So the first thing that you need is some type of content that's understandable for you, but a little above your level. So the most obvious choice for this is using the Listening Time podcast. So most of you can understand uh, most of what I'm saying, or you can understand the context of each episode of Listening Time. So this would be a great tool for all of you to use uh, for this first category, uh, for the content that's understandable for you, but still a little bit above your level. Of course, I use words and phrases that you haven't heard before, and I help you understand uh, all of those expressions. And of course, uh, there are some things that you might not understand when I'm speaking or uh, you might not catch all the words that I'm saying. And that's okay because for most of you, this podcast is understandable. So the key here is that you understand what I'm saying because studies show that when you actually understand the context and the message of something in a foreign language, your brain acquires more of that language. Remember that the word acquire just means get, right? Gain. So your brain gets the language and absorbs it uh, when you actually understand the message of what is being said in that foreign language. So if you can understand the message or the main idea of everything that I'm saying in this podcast, then your brain is acquiring English. It's acquiring grammar. It's acquiring vocabulary. It's acquiring uh, sound patterns. It's acquiring all this and you don't even realize it. That's the cool part. Your brain is doing that but you don't even know that it's happening. So this is much different from listening to English content that's way above your level and really, really hard, and you can't even understand the context. Um, in that situation, your brain doesn't acquire much. It doesn't really benefit much in that situation. So the key is you wanna be able to understand the content, and then you can acquire the language. So your first tool is this listening time podcast that you're all listening to. So of course, with this podcast, it's good to use it with active listening and passive listening. So when you listen actively, this means that this is the only thing that you're doing in that moment. You're not multitasking, you're just paying attention to what you're listening to, and you're actively listening. So when you actively listen to the Listening Time podcast, it's good to use repetition. And so I always recommend listening to the same episode multiple times, maybe three times at least. And for example, the first time you listen to the episode, you can listen without the transcript and see how much you understand. And then the second time you can listen with the transcript and you can see all of those words and expressions and sounds and grammar that you might have missed the first time around. Uh, so this will help you better understand what was said. And then you can listen one more time, a third time, and this time you can listen again without the transcript. And when you listen this third time, you'll see how much better you can understand the episode uh, than you could the first time you listened. So this repetition will really help the acquisition process. It will help your brain 
acquire more and uh, you'll draw your brain's attention to more patterns. Uh, in English, we use the phrase draw someone's attention uh, to something. This just means that you're putting the person's focus on that thing. Okay, so when you use active uh, repetition like this, you'll be able to draw your brain's attention to new words and new phrases and new sound patterns. So this is a, a great way to use uh, this podcast for your active listening. And the goal with active listening for this podcast is to understand everything I'm saying after you listen a few different times. So uh, once you can understand everything I'm saying, every word, no problem, without the transcript, then you know that you've really mastered that episode and your brain is definitely acquiring uh, this listening ability. And of course, it's also important to use passive listening uh, with this podcast or other uh, listening resources that you have. So with the Listening Time podcast, you can passively listen to it while you're doing something else. You can multitask. So for example, while you drive to work, you can listen to this podcast in your car. Or while you clean your house, you can uh, put your headphones in and listen to this podcast. Uh, the word headphones in English just refers to uh, the things that you put in your ears so that you can listen to something on your phone or your computer. Uh, there are a few different words for this in English, uh, but the word that I usually say is headphones. Uh, so it's good to passively listen to these episodes as well. And uh, it's okay if you're not 100% focused on your listening uh, while you're passively listening. That's normal, of course, because you'll be multitasking. Uh, the key with this is to just get more time with the language, right? You're going to maximize the time that you spend listening if you're always passively listening in the background while you're doing other tasks. In English, when we say that you do something in the background, it means that it's not your main activity. Uh, you're doing something else, but you're doing this other thing in the background. You're doing it while you're doing the other activity. Uh, so if you do this, you're gonna end up listening to a lot more English every day, right? Probably hours more. So it will definitely speed up the process of becoming an advanced listener. And uh, one thing that people ask me is how many times they should listen to each episode uh, actively or passively. Uh, as I said, for active listening, three times is great. Right? The first time without the transcript, the second time with the transcript, the third time without the transcript. Uh, passively listening um, you can listen as many times as you'd like. Uh, I would recommend that once it starts to get boring, like you know exactly what I'm saying, nothing is new for you, it's really easy to understand, then you can stop listening to that episode and put a different episode on, one that's more uh, recent or that's new for you or something like that. But I think you can cycle through different episodes, like if you have an MP3 player, you can download 10 or 20 episodes, and then you'll listen to different ones throughout the day. And then uh, once you've already heard all of those episodes uh, many times, you can switch them out and download other episodes. Uh, when we say to switch something out, in English, it just means change it, okay? So you can change these episodes. All right, so now let's talk about the second thing that you need. The second thing that you need is some type of guided content, but at normal speed, all right? So where the person is speaking 
uh, normally without slowing down. So this is what I'm trying to create with my advanced podcast that I told you about. So uh, with this content, it will be less understandable because, uh, for example, in the advanced podcast that I'm doing, I'm going to try to speak at normal speed. So it'll seem pretty fast for a lot of you. And so it's okay if it's not that understandable or if it's less understandable than this podcast. Uh, and your goal is to make it more understandable, right? So when you start out, it'll probably be hard to understand. And your goal will be to try to make it as understandable as possible. So you're going to do the same type of listening practice with this content that you do with the normal listening time podcast. So you're going to need to do active listening, of course. So you'll do this the same way, probably. Um, you can listen the first time without the transcript, the second time with the transcript, etc. And instead of just listening three times, maybe you need to listen five times or something like that. And this will be okay because the episodes are shorter. As I mentioned, the episodes will be 10 to 12 minutes maybe. So it will be more manageable for you to listen many times, right? So I would say that you probably need to listen more times with the advanced podcast because it'll take you longer to really understand everything I'm saying, all the words I'm saying. And you might not reach the point where you can understand every single sound that I'm saying in just five listens, but you might be able to. And if not, you'll probably get pretty close if you really use the transcript well, right? If you really study it and listen with and without the transcript and really try to um, uh, understand the sounds as I'm speaking, you can probably reach the point with each advanced episode where you understand almost everything that I say, right? But it requires a lot of repetition, okay? Uh, so that's how you'll do your active listening, uh, the same way, but more repetition. And then your passive listening will be similar too. Uh, I always recommend using an MP3 player uh, that's small and that won't uh, uh, bother you throughout the day because uh, of how big it is in your pocket. Uh, I have this really small one that I use that uh, you don't really even notice when it's in your pocket. And then throughout the day, you can just put your headphone in whenever you want to passively listen. And so I recommend doing this for all of the content that you passively listen to. And the goal is similar. Uh, you want to get more exposure to this advanced content and you want to spend more time listening to it. In English, when you say that you get exposure to something, this just means that you have uh, the experience with this thing, right? Uh, so when I say that you're going to get more exposure to this advanced content, it just means that you're going to experience this more. You're going to have more of it in your life. So you can use uh, these advanced podcast episodes and download them onto your MP3 player and listen throughout the day. And uh, you can use both the normal listening time podcast and the advanced podcast and have both types of episodes uh, that you listen to passively. Of course, there will be many more uh, normal episodes than advanced episodes, but that's okay. I'm sure one episode per month uh, will be a good start uh, just to help you um, have more time with advanced content and you'll have plenty of time to use this repetition method uh, and you'll get a new episode every month. So that's the second thing that you need. 
And the third thing that you need is some type of super interesting native content. So you need to find something, whether it's a podcast, a YouTube channel, whatever, that's really interesting for you. Something that you would normally listen to in your own language. And so uh, this needs to be native content. It needs to be content made for English speakers, not for English learners. So this content will be even less understandable for you, right? You're not going to have an easy time understanding this, probably. It will probably be much harder to understand this content than it is to understand this podcast, for example. And with this uh, super interesting native content, you probably won't have the transcript available. So you have fewer tools with this content, but that's okay. So what you're going to use this uh, content for is to get your brain really interested in something in English, right? So with my podcast, I try to talk about interesting topics and I try not to make it boring for you. But of course, you're not always going to be super interested in every topic that I pick. But if you find some really interesting content on YouTube or another podcast made for English speakers uh, that you would normally listen to in your own language, your brain is going to be really interested in this content. And as I've talked about before, the more interested that your uh, brain is in some content in a foreign language, the more your brain actually acquires. So even though you don't realize it, your brain is acquiring more vocabulary, more grammar, and more sound patterns uh, with that super interesting content than your brain would acquire with boring content of the same level. Okay, so this is really important. You need to find some content that you really like. And as I mentioned, you're not going to understand a whole lot of it at the beginning. In English, when we say a whole lot of something, this just means uh, a big amount of something. Okay, so you might not understand a whole lot of it at the beginning. Uh, but your goal will be to make it more understandable as time goes on. So your big advantage here is your interest, okay? So your brain is going to want to understand that content. So you'll be able to keep your attention focused on what you're listening to, and you'll be able to uh, stick with it even if it's hard. In English, when we say stick with something, this just means you continue and you don't quit. Okay, so this is the big advantage that you'll have. Uh, for example, I listen to a French podcast about business, and I'm really interested in the topic of business uh, because I'm trying to grow my business. And so when I listen to this podcast, I'm not even really focused on the French aspect. I just want to know what the person is saying because I want the person's advice on business. So my brain is acquiring a lot of French when I listen to this podcast and I don't even realize it. Uh, and when I started listening to this podcast, it was hard. It was a very high level uh, for me. But now, when I listen to these episodes, it's much more understandable. And my brain kind of did this on its own. Uh, obviously, I look up many words and I repeat the episodes many times. Uh, but really, there's not too much effort involved if I'm really interested in that topic. Right? It doesn't require too much effort to repeat and to keep listening again and again and look up those new words uh, because I'm really interested in that content. And so you'll use the same active and passive listening with this content. 
However, as I mentioned, you might not have the transcript available, so your act of listening won't be uh, as easy, probably. Um, but you can still use repetition and try to look up new words. And really the goal with this content is to just have fun with English and get your brain interested in some type of native content. This is really important. It's important to have some of this type of content uh, in your life, okay? It's really going to help you uh, start to understand native speakers because at some point you need to listen to native content that's not made for English learners. And so the best way to do this is to find content that you really like. Okay, so now you know the three things that you need in order to become an advanced listener. Okay, so these are the three different types of content that you want to have and that you want to listen to uh, on a daily basis. Okay, so remember to sign up to become a Listening Time family member. Go down into the episode description below this episode and click on that link, uh, patreon.com slash listening time, and sign up to become a Listening Time family member, and you'll receive my advanced podcast every month on the fifth day of every month, okay? So make sure to sign up today. And of course, you have the transcript available as well. That's also below in the episode description. All right. Well, thank you all for listening to this episode. And I'll talk to you again on episode 52 of the Listening Time Podcast. <laughs>